Good afternoon. Well, it is for me. It's a Saturday afternoon. I've just freed off the gear lever, which was sticking. That's a video. Go and watch it. It's brilliant. Just did another video on swapping out my mirrors because the other ones were all oxidized on the arms. Birthday present off of a bloke called Stupid. Weird name. He must be a foreigner. Um, but this video is about Thomas has asked me a question um, regarding my chain video um, and he says I notice your lock nut is on the wrong side according to the workshop manual mine's, a, mine's, mine's is on the other side weird anglaise um, and yeah sure enough shows you in the book nut comes off disc side mine is sprocket side and so is my Corona, I don't know where we can see it from there, it's a bit, a bit tight for room, but yeah, that's on the sprocket side, whereas my GSXR 1000 is actually on, according to the workshop manual, the right side, which is also the right side, um, the side of your disc. So, yes, it certainly does say in the manual, it should be on the disc side, it also says, or shows in this manual, which is for the Gixxer 600, 750 and 1000, but it's also on the disc side. Ultimately, what difference does it make? I've had no adverse effects from it, and I'll probably ride the Corona and the Booster faster than I do the Mediocre, my Gixxer 1000, obviously because I've got no wind protection. Loads of wind protection on the higher Booster. That is built for speed, <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, um, yes, yeah, so answers down below. Let me know, does it make a hell of a lot of difference? One thing that might make a difference on the booster, which now Thomas has brought my attention to axles and where they're meant to be, is this block here, which I believe should have a shoulder both sides, which captures the end of the axle. This doesn't, and it has twisted ever so slightly. Um, not by much, but it's got the opportunity to twist. Have a look at this one. See, this one's got the shoulder here and the shoulder here, which captures the end of the axle, stopping it twisting. So that's something I'll probably have to invest in. As I say, the Gixxer 1000, I've got the, I've got the weird <laughs> number plate bracket and everything on there but it is on the disc side but I've never had any adverse effects of any of that so let us know in the comments should I alter them all and why should I is it that important is it just for ease of ins installation that you get your sprocket carrier and everything lined up and then you've got time to play around with your brake caliper mount to get the axle lined up or or what I don't know let us know. The other thing he said, because I said about the workshop manual saying um, pre-08 boosters, they reckon put it on the side stand to adjust the chain. Whereas the 08s onwards, they say put it on a pallet stand. What difference does that make? Because whether the wheel is on the floor or the pallet stand is holding it up by the bobbins, it's supported pretty much in the same way there's the same compression on the suspension and everything isn't there isn't there um the twist to that was thomas actually uses his abba stand um i don't know which one that is he's got which abba stand he's got um whether it is just the one that um picks the back wheel off the floor using the hollow tubing of the swing arm or whether he's actually got an ABBA Skylift. Phenomenal stand, very good in small spaces. Um, but he puts it on his ABBA stand. So he's lifting via the swing arm pivot, um, which obviously takes all the weight off his suspension at the back and then adjusts it as he says, 20 to 30 mil um, slack, which 
all good. Um, and when he puts it back down on the ground, there's absolutely no problem with the uh, chain adjustment and tension or anything. Um, which it shouldn't it shouldn't make a difference, should it? The, the wheel's going to travel in an arc, so yeah, I think when you're when it's lowered down well, when it's um, when the wheel's lifted off the ground via your swing arm it takes all the weight off the suspension which drops it, which I thought actually made the distance between the sprocket, the bottom of the sprocket here and the bottom of the front sprocket, smaller. Because um, you're not you're not working on a one circle and the diameter. It is offset. So I thought it made it smaller. So I thought that might give you problems. Unless you're setting it to 30mm and then you, when you put it down and it is bearing its weight again, it, it returns to sort of 20mm tension. That would perhaps explain it but you're saying you've had no problems at all which is good good to know um, yeah so questions need answering stick it in the comments which way rounds your axle why and do you think it's really important like safety wise important or is it just an aesthetic thing or just makes it easier to put it all together let us know in the comments also where do you stick your booster paddock stand side stand abba stand weight on the wheel weight on the wheel axle weight on the swing arc what you let us know in the comments and also he's telling me to use my chalk wrench i did use it after i'd over talked it um and um he says that's always best. He's not wrong, but sometimes I'm just too lazy. Not with the axles, or usually with the pinch bolts for the like the front axle. Anyway, as I say, answers down below. It'd be quite interesting to know one way or the other. Anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you again. Whew. Ta ra.